In today's video, we'll take a look at the string search function, which allows users to do a character search within a G code program. We'll also highlight the marking function, which marks characters in one of three colors. Let's start by opening up a simple G code program. We will locate our string search button at the bottom of the screen. Let's type the characters that we'd like to search, followed by the input key, which will find our first occurrence of that character. Each press of the input button will find the next character within that program. Now, let's take a look at the marking function. Again, we'll hit the string search button. We'll type in the character that we'd like to search up, followed by a forward slash, the letter M, and then the color, in this case R for red. When we press the input key, the CNC finds the next occurrence of that character and highlights all of those characters inside of the program with that color. Next, we'll look at another color. String search, character, forward slash, MG for green. When we press our input key, we can see that all of those characters in that program are now highlighted in green. Next, we'll take a look at the color blue by doing a string search, character, forward slash, the letter M, and B. And again, you'll see that all of my characters are now highlighted in the blue color. There are two ways to clear the marking function. The first is to do a string search with a forward slash MC. An input will clear all of the markings, or you can power off and on the CNC. By default, the string search searches down from the cursor position within the program. We can change this search by adjusting a parameter 19710 that will allow us to do an upward search or a downward search from the cursor position. Once that parameter is changed to a 1 and we hit the string search button, it adds an upward search and down search button to our string search.